Hello friends, welcome to my third tutorial. Uh, uh, as I promised in last week, uh, I will teach uh, GIS formally from this uh, tutorial video. Uh, in this tutorial video, I will teach you how to prepare a study map. Okay. Uh, uh, personally, I have been requested to make a study area map by lots of senior uh, and my colleague and my junior fellows or my student and uh, uh, video uh, this video uh, I'm going to start uh, because uh, uh, this study area map is required by all uh, faculties or all st uh, streams or the students of every stream because in this thesis paper or in this research paper study area is the one of the vital thing uh, while writing down the methodology methodologies okay so let's begin the tutorial uh, uh, this tutorial is going to be a little bit longer uh, than usual uh, because uh, I'll teach you how to make a, a study area map from a, a country map okay you can see uh, this is the uh, country map or is the map of Nepal okay uh, as already described I described data frame to you people okay so uh, <coughs> so the, some there are some you know pro type you know pro type skill or pro type qualities which is uh, diff which differentiate you from other people okay so uh, always uh, always make a one folder always make a one folder like I created here I created here okay I created uh, I can name this uh, folder as a study area map okay you can see study area uh, in this folder at first uh, you can create two, two folder you know like a uh, one folder is a name in a data okay like a data data folder so um, you can add everything uh, except this uh, okay. Okay, and another folder uh, you can write just control shift n uh, as a result. Okay, okay, so always create a one folder uh, in which you create uh, one you use in which you maintain our data and the result. Okay, so it is a pro type skill, so you don't uh, so, so you will not lose any data and result while you can or still you can work in a future. Okay. So always make a folder before uh, doing any work in a ArcGIS. Okay. So this this is the button. This is the button. Uh, I, I I I just say to you. Uh, you can from this uh, button, you can the add data. Okay. You can add data, uh, which you just uh, uh, keep in that folder. So so for that. Okay. So for that. Uh, just connect a folder okay connect to folder go to this option if you go to this option uh, you will find you will find uh, option option of lots of folder okay i just uh, keep that folder in a uh, desktop that's why i just choose that folder okay okay you just choose you just choose and here you can find uh, can find uh, this folder. Sorry. Okay. See, these are the data. Okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Oh, study area. These are the folder. Okay, which I just created in the study area, study area folder. Uh, in data, there are uh, in data. This is the uh, data which I being uh, which I will used in the uh, for study area map 
and uh, that is for result for now for now um, it is mpt okay because there is no end result and one more thing one more thing is that uh, uh, you can create gdp okay that is the geo database geo database so i just create study gdb okay just click it and again click it and it okay so in the data there is one gdp gdp is nothing it's just like a database you know you can keep your results or processing result you know you, know, you can you can keep your processing result it will be uh, like a uh, more safer there and the chances of corrupted file will be less when you keep in the gdb okay so we just go back back and i already add neither if you if you haven't add uh, this file just go to this nepal save okay and just click add okay i just already click that's why and uh, there are two nepal so i remove one just right click for remove just right click and remove okay and if you don't like you know if you don't like this color you can just go there okay choose whatever you like i just like this back color okay this so this is the map of nepal uh, so i have been uh, so i will use this map this polygon you know this is a vector file however you can learn about vector and rust data however uh, i will i will teach you in later my in later tutorial videos what is raster and what is uh, vector or how to differentiate them or what is the purpose of them okay so for now just remember that this is the vector file uh, in which polygon is its uh, identity or you can just uh, for for more information always right click okay right click and open attribute table okay so shape is polygon i just put it polygon no polygon shape okay so it is i think it's a uh, old map no uh, it's a old map that's why there are 75 uh description of nepal okay 70, 75 district means 75 polygon okay so just uh let's say let's say uh, i am i am using uh, i am do, i am doing research uh, in one of the district of nepal and my supervisor wants me to do uh to make a study area map so i'll choose a randomly one of the district okay i just go there okay I, or you can do, do from here just go select feature it is available here it is available here select feature okay and choose any okay just i choose this i choose one of the polygon available in this map okay i already told you there are 75 polygons so i choose one of the polygon by going in the select features button okay then right click here then right click here and then in go in data okay right click there and go in data and export data okay right and click the export data option so here you know export means to export something you know to just throw something so export here you can so see selected features this selected feature will only be exported other thing will be remain same okay use the same coordination system this layer source data okay what this map is uh, designed in coordination system then that exported will be the same and output feature class okay this is the location where this exported item will be there okay so just see we have just connected our folder to study area folder this folder so our uh, or our output or our processing result will be there but for better uh, classic water have two uh, folders isn't it so here go here in result because it is one of is one of the result so you or you can just uh, in type its, its name is lalitpur lalitpur 
ललितपुर सेव ए स्टाइप से फाइल ओके इन वी जस्ट सेव दिस फाइल इन टू रिजल्ट फोर्ड सब फोल्डर एंड नेम एज अ ललितपुर से फाइल do you want to add the exported data as maps layer of course because we want to use this layer in our studio area map okay see so lalitpur lalitpur is this we can just zoom to this feature okay for this zoom to layer because you already uh, see uh, so that there is uh, uh, save as a layer so it is a one of the layer okay zoom to layer this is the layer I, as I have told you, if you don't like this color, just choose the different color. Okay, it's 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 up to you, whatever you like. Okay. <coughs> so, uh, if you want to uh, make a study area map, I uh, if you if you have uh, seen my previous video, if you want to show two result, you should have okay. Uh, so two result in a map, you should have two different okay. Now single data frame, okay. So, oh, another data, new data frame. So uh, we can name it just for this. Right click and pro. Uh, two result. You should uh you should, uh, have a two data. frame which contains Nepal or that is the whole country map and another is the our study area which is Lollipur district okay so for this condition uh, so uh, so the task uh, begins here also uh, I just uh, in previous video there are, I said that there are two layout layout view okay this is uh, there are two view uh, this is data view where we do the processing just we did we just export the uh, sub uh, polygon from the whole country map and, and another is layout view where we work in the map okay we just got our processing result so that is Lolith pool we got just extract the uh, feature from there okay so now it is to make the study area map it is unchecked here okay see it is unchecked here that's why it is not visible now if it if we check it is visible so if we zoom to layer okay see if we say if we right click and zoom to layer then it is whole map contents okay see uh, at first we have selected we have selected some features but we haven't unselected so we can just uh, go there you know in uh, data view and I think it is not activate so if you uh, another thing is important thing to notice if you don't if you have two data frame uh, at once only one data frame will be activated so if you are just switching the data frames go to activate okay say it is selected but we don't want to that we don't want that okay just go unselect it and it's select unselect select unselect okay uh, then uh, I just said that two map two data frame one data frame second data frame okay and uh, the paper size you know paper size uh, paper size is determined the uh, how much uh, how, how focused you, your map wants to be seen or what your uh, client uh, demands for the size okay for now it is a little bit uh, uh, okay with uh, portrait mode also but if you are not okay with protein mode you can go for landscape mode for that you go to this page and print setup okay page and print setup see it's already in landscape mode however however it is not fitted okay or you can size this list uh, size of papers okay uh, here the name of printer and uh, this is a use printer paper setting with this printer you can see and see if the if we scale if we scale the element according to the paper orientation it will be fitted neither it will go out neither it will come yeah? 
it, 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 it looks fine and then be presented so for that uh, I'll just crack here and, and is it, it is good uh, maybe it is good or whatever you whatever you want uh, orientation you can do it you know? the main thing is that uh, rather than focusing the whole country map we should focus the our study area okay is it so uh, if your uh, if your data is not that much focused you can go here okay, full extent okay uh, uh, it is already in full extent so thing occurs ah i just forgot one thing main thing is control s okay just always save your document always save your document you uh, drop me, uh, some some processing okay that saves your result <coughs> so the main thing is that so this area and the uh, pattern of study area is that so this area uh, from here or your your indication should be that this small thing will be enlarged here okay this small thing will be enlarged here so for that mm, so for that uh, go to this go to this layer go to this layer second layer i am just working on this okay Uh, so far, uh, for uh, so far uh, to show to show that this thing is uh, from here, or this thing is small here, or this thing is belongs to this. We have one trick in our GIS. Uh, for that, go to the alloys to the larger thing. Okay, go to alloys to larger thing. Go here to data frame go to properties right click and go to properties and go to extend indicator okay go to extend indicator and then you can see the other data frame available there okay and you can see the data frame available there which you want to see that this uh, small thing or this um, zoom thing comes from this large thing okay go to this because this is our the uh, another data frame click here for single or if you have more than one you can go for here and uh, apply and okay see this thing is zoomed this thing is this 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 uh, this small thing is zoomed here okay this is the purpose this is the tree uh, which is used in study area map okay and uh, for clear more clear view uh, we have one trick more trick is that uh, for this uh, for this click on this thing uh, this is driven click on the so after uh, with x uh, indicator uh, you can so this thing linked to here okay to here okay uh, for that uh, there is one trick in arcgis for that we, we need a draw tool okay for draw tool go to there right click here okay right click here and go to draw okay see here you can get a draw tool here okay so for that we need a line two line okay basically people use two line so for line you use this and if you correct if you need correct one go and here click. double click okay see and for again click here Now it looks a little bit clear, isn't it? So you can say that this district 
belongs to Nepal okay or this is the one of the uh, study uh, area type okay study area map content okay and for uh, for further uh, uh, for the addition of uh, map elements we need uh, this tool okay insert at first always remember you should uh, show the north arrow okay there are large option of uh, for north arrow so you can choose my favorite is this it's simple you know so uh, it, there is a little bit thumb rule you know thumb rule type basically or generally uh, north arrow is placed in the top of the map okay if it is not possible you can put here also okay then then there is the another uh, needed thing is um, scale okay somebody put scale or somebody said not to scale okay but we need a scale bar in gis basically so you, you can use the letter form of scale also or you can use use scale bar okay this is my favorite one so okay if somebody needs to measure this area how how big is this study area then he can measure from this scale bar okay <coughs> uh and this text if you need to name this district okay like i just tried Laritpur, okay see this is very small now D double click it so this option arrives okay and see the font size font size is 10 now so you need to uh, increase its font size for that to go to change symbol double click it or single click it it takes a little bit time see we can use the uh, increase our size like i like keep 20 okay and you can choose the different colors of your taste like this but i like black one that's why i kept black okay and uh, then you can bold it i just bold it italic underline strike through okay now you can just choose yeah, this style or you can choose font font style okay but you from here if you're in first chance if your uh, text goes wrong you can edit from here okay apply uh, the arcgis gives one good thing is that you can just apply your changes and see if it is not okay okay if it is not okay you can go again okay but for me now it is okay now you can move this also just i, I just like it okay and another thing is that you go to insert uh neat line neat line is the line which is just uh, just uh, it's like a margin line okay just below the uh, uh, below the in line so you can just put put a line okay if you need if you like to have a background you put background neither you can say none okay or border you can choose the size of border line okay and another option is around all limit so we need to put in the around all limit so i just write okay see now this this small thick border line is placed around all element okay let's go to it it looks good now isn't it <coughs> okay now another thing is remaining is that sources okay uh, title sorry sources sources you can use same like in text go for title you can choose your title just like study area study area map okay just like this small automatically it goes to top of the this okay but if you if you don't have top uh, area you can just write here okay but better to write in top 
for me now i didn't write in top which i'm teaching now uh, uh, if you need any of uh, external graphs external graphs you can uh, write in the uh, or you need to copy from word excel you can just draw a copy from as a object okay pictures and another thing is like a time okay times condition system uh, isn't it data frame name sometimes uh, it is necessary to put coordinate system if it is like a uh, for measuring you know if it is for measuring it is necessary to put in the coordination system coordinate system neither it is not that much necessary because it is just a map it is not any uh, processor result okay uh, uh, these things like uh, it is okay now okay uh, uh, and another thing I want to show you in this map is that print view always print view okay sometimes your border doesn't apply to good see like here zero is little bit omitted so I just close it and put this slider bit here okay and again again print view see now it is good isn't it so always work like this and yeah, your your map will be little good you know you just can play with the net lines or you can play with uh, this thing or uh, i just forgot one thing like here uh, this thing this indicator this indication is uh, this extend indicator is uh, rectangular isn't it but you can make a uh, like a <coughs> circular also for that extend indicator right click it and frame okay uh, here rounding if you round increase rounding I just put 100% or 1000% okay apply just to change the change see this is this thing is this thing is round isn't it okay or if you want to see if you want to make this thing round go to here go to uh, size and position okay you just put as a I think, yeah you can change its size see can just put make it move if you increase the percentage of roundness you can make it it uh, round shape okay and fix it this thing see you can increase your roundness and it will be little bit okay uh, if you go to increasing the number percentage of roundness, this will be circle. Okay, so in this way, it is very easy to make a study map. Or if you have any uh, confusion, please write down the comment below. I'll make you understand in a very easy way. Okay, uh, see you guys. Stay home, stay safe, and learn arcgis hope you you will learn in a good manner see you bye